I'm just studying dodging pigeons and I have just come up with a great idea how I can make money. Morning, today we are in Milan, Italy. I've never been to Milan in my life. It is a miserable day, but thankfully it's not raining. Or we might have to sell some rollies. Literally, the only thing I know about Milan is that obviously it's very fashionable, expensive apparently, and there's the cathedral which is central. They are literally the only things I know. So I've got a feeling the next three days is gonna be interesting. Before I start this challenge, I just wanna say a thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting me. I'll tell you more about them at the end of the video. Right, what can we do? Day one. I got off the plane this morning, which was slightly delayed, and I'm thinking, what do I want from Milan? And that's usual, I just wanna see great places, meet great people, and do exciting and fun things. However, in Berlin, what disappointed me was the fact the first night I stayed in the hotel reception, and the second night I stayed in the hostel on those chairs, and I didn't really sleep either night, and I'm moving about. So I'm thinking, with this challenge, I wanna find somewhere to sleep, like properly to sleep. But obviously to do that, either one of my usual methods, like Tinder, Bumble, Couchsurfing needs to come good, or I could earn money to book myself into a hostel hostel or a hotel. The problems I've got with that is one, I don't speak a word of Italian. Two, I've never been here in my life and don't know the place at all. Three, I don't have any money, so it's not as if like with the challenge of Tober and Bobby I could go to a pound shop and buy something and try and sell it. And four, I just wouldn't know where to start to try and find a job apart from obviously going into places but I don't speak Italian. So sort of throws that out the window. So today I'm gonna try my best to get some sort of job to and earn some money so I've got a bed to stay tonight. So let's see how we get on. Before I start looking for a job though, I'm gonna go and check out Milan Cathedral first. I've just checked on Google Maps and it's like a 10 minute walk, so not too far. So I've made it to the cathedral. Look how amazing this is. There's some serious detail on that. So I'm guessing where the cathedral is, where I'm stood, this is like the center of Milan. There's some sort of monument over there and there's some building behind me and like the roof, honestly. The buildings are absolutely amazing. I tell you what though, there's so many tourists around here. However, there is 100% more pigeons than there is tourists. Look at the state of this. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a massive pigeon lover, Jesus. I'm just studying dodging pigeons and I have just come up with a great idea how I can make money. I don't know how successful this is gonna be, but what I can gather, this is one of the main tourist places in Milan, obviously because of the cathedral, and everyone's taking photos, like these, these here, these. So I'm basically gonna to offer to take people's photos with the cathedral for like two or three dollars. I've not quite made my mind up yet on that. Right, let's give this a go. Excuse me guys, I'm doing pictures to you. Euros. Oh, nah, no problem. Have a nice day. Excuse me, guys. A professional photo, two euros? No? No, <laughs> no worries. Excuse me, guys. A picture, two euros? No, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. I've just spotted a competitor. Here he is, but he's actually printed them. All I can do is offer emailing them. Right, let's do some market research. Excuse me, how much for photos? Only three euros. Three euros, and you print them, do you? Yes. Do you print one or two or? Three. Just print one for two. Ah, you print them there and yes. then, do you? Mate, you're on the ball. Are you having a laugh? I'm an absolute schmuck compared to that guy. He's carrying a print around with him. Is it successful? Do you take lots of photos? Yeah. How long do you stand here with this? Do you stand here all day? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh. Two years. Two years? Fair play. What time at night do you leave? Around 6, 7. 6, 7 o'clock you go home. What time are you here in the morning? Around, Whoa. around 3. Around three. Whoa! <laughs> Around two I'm from here. Ah, okay, and then you go. Nice to meet you, man, anyway. See you later. Guys, pictures. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> I nearly went yeah. there. Uh, pictures, two euros if you wanted one. I think this phone is so, I... expensive than your camera. <laughs> ah, okay. But uh, we, we want to test. Now. Yeah, no problem at all. If you need... Okay, I'll I know try... that you are already professional. You know... Yeah, that's focus fine. Way, yeah, yeah. I'll try not break my neck on this grid <laughs> next time. <laughs> okay. Have a good time, man. Well, that was a bit embarrassing. They literally nearly broke my neck on some grid. 
<laughs> so this isn't been very successful so far and just to top it off as you can see people with their brollies out it is spitting a bit so I just hope it doesn't get any worse we're not gonna give up just yet though we're gonna keep going excuse me guys picture two euros no no worries pictures two euros no pictures two euros no okay no, no problem have a nice day thank you right I have been at this for a while now and I have made a massive Zero. I think it's safe to say my future as a tourist photographer in Milan is taking a dive. I've probably got more chance of being this guy's backing singer. Do you know what though? I reckon back in the day when everybody didn't have high-tech phones, I bet you could have made a fortune. Because the only reason people were saying no, because they had iPhones and stuff. And to be fair, those other people that were doing photos, I didn't see one of them take a picture and print it off. Right, so I'm still in the square. I'm just standing on the side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into some businesses, restaurants, I don't know. I'm just going to go around. Nowhere like massive on the square, but like down the little side things and see if I can basically get a job, whether it's waiting on, pulling drinks, washing dishes. Because obviously I'm dressed. I've got my trainers on, jeans, so I haven't actually got any uniform. On top of that, I'm going to Google what job is in Italy. So job in Italy is lavoro, lavoro, lavoro. So now we're going to try and get a lavoro somewhere. Wish me luck. I actually hope I'm saying that right. I can't believe how dark it's getting now so early, honestly. Hi, how are you? Do you speak English at all? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Long story short, how would you find a job in Milan if you were looking for a job? Any ideas? No. no. Very well administration, there is a government square, a big square. Yeah. Corso Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Grazie, thank you. I did not understand a word of that. Obviously, I appreciate them helping me, but I need to make some money. Honestly, this is seriously tough. I've tried a few places now, and there's not much about, really, either side. I'm just walking and trying like little places along the way. Is there any Lovaro here? Any Sorry? jobs? Any Lovaro? Is it Lovaro? Job? Lovaro's job, right? No. Oh, what, what does job? What's job in Italy? Job in Italy? Lavoro. Lav lavoro. 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 Oh, lavoro. Lavoro. Have you got any Lavoros here? Yes. You have? Yes. Ah, okay. Is it possible to apply for one? Thank you. <laughs> Just basically when you know, if I could, I don't know, clean dishes or serve customers or, you know, any anything that I could do really to earn like, like I said, like 20, 30 euros so I can book a hostel and get some food and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you've got anything I can do at all. In this moment, I don't have you. The, the, the shop is empty. Would you happen to know anybody who would have work when you, now? When you're going tomorrow at the 8, 9, 10 of the morning, yeah. this is... Uh, really busy? Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. So if I come back to tomorrow morning, I can maybe work for you for a bit and do something. No, thank you, I really appreciate that. That's great, thank you. I don't actually have any money on me. Are you sure? Oh, I appreciate that, thank you. This nice guy is giving me a free coffee. Thank you so much. Am I okay to sit down over there? Thank you. Fair news to that guy for my coffee. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to go on my phone, I'm going to go on Tinder, do all the usual, see what I can come up with. Fingers crossed when I come back here in the morning I can do a job for him and get some money to keep me going for tomorrow. But I'm going to enjoy this coffee for now, I'm going to do some more research on here, see if I can get somewhere to stay, and then we'll go again. Right, I think our luck might be in. So I've been speaking to a girl on Bumble called Cassie. That's Cassie. And basically, this is some of the conversation. So I've, but I'm guessing you're Italian. She put, ha ha, my ethnicity is Italian. She's from the US, she's visiting, but love the US, and she's from Denver, Colorado. She said she's in Milan until Wednesday. She's traveling alone, but she's got loads of friends in Italy, so I'm guessing she's staying with them. She's then gone on to say, if you want, let's meet tonight. I don't have any plans, I'm hungry. Hungry. Sounds good, let's catch up sweet. And I thought I would offer to get you a drink, but due to traveling with no money, I'll happily treat you to a glass of water. So that's basically it. She's just getting ready, then she's gonna get an Uber back over to the cathedral, which is like, I've walked about 15 minutes, so it's probably 15 minutes away. I'm gonna walk back over there and meet her, and then just see how the night goes. I've still not eaten today. I still haven't got anywhere to sleep. I am really hungry, and the time now is like 20 past six, so it's getting on. But I'm just gonna see how it goes. Right, let's head to meet Cassie. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for the coffee. I really appreciate it. No so what time would be best to come in the morning at all? 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening anyway. Thanks very much. 
So the job's nailed on for tomorrow at 10 a.m. What a cool guy. I've not really agreed anything with him or how long I'll work or how much money I'll get, but we'll see. Cassie's just messaged to say she's in the Uber to the cathedral, so I'm heading there now. Hey, how are you? Hi. Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so this is Cassie. It's Cassie's first time out of the US. Let's... And in Milan. <laughs> what do you think of Milan? I like it. I don't think it's my favorite city I've ever been to. Cleaner than some US cities. Yeah. Like Austin. Um, but the traffic is kind of terrifying. The crazy drivers yeah, around here, aren't have, they? If someone's trying to cross the street, you let them cross the street. In yeah. Italy, in Milan, it is not like that. So I've just explained to Cassie about this challenge <laughs> and she just finds it hilarious. I call it the Tinder meal plan. The Tinder meal plan. <laughs> Explain the Tinder meal plan. In Colorado, the girls have this joke that if they don't have any money, they just hop on Tinder and they have a different guy buy them dinner each night of the week. <laughs> that is a really good idea. Is and take any... one to go. My friend also gets two plates, one to go. What this do you mean? <laughs> oh, I hope better. she never sees this. That's breakfast tomorrow then. What sort of food are you actually thinking though? The Noodles. most unhealthy Italian food we can find. What do you reckon of this place? All right, let's try it. Pizzium. Thanks very much, thank you. Thank you so much for tea, I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. It was actually really good as well, wasn't it? It was. So we've just got back to where the cathedral is, right in the centre. It almost looks better at night, don't you think? I think it looks look amazing at, it. at night. Absolutely amazing. It is officially raining in Milan. Is this your metro here? This is our pit right here. Right, well thank you so much. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. And thank you so much for food, honestly. I literally hadn't eaten at all up until that. That pizza was amazing. Have fun traveling Italy. Cheers Cassie, see you later, bye. I cannot believe it. I can sneak into the McGregor fight, but I can't even close a date in Milan. Can you believe it? Like, don't get me wrong, I know I've put a few pound on that and I haven't really had a shave, but am I really losing it that bad? I need to get to that gym. My Tinder game's going down the toilet. To be completely honest, right at the start, she did say I could potentially stay, but towards the end, obviously, she doesn't know who I am. She's never met me before. So she said she felt a bit sort of uncomfortable. So you know, I understand that. She's 26, she's a single girl traveling on her own. I understand that if you were a parent as well, you'd understand, so no hard feelings. So now, <laughs> it is 1.05 in the morning and we're in Milan on the streets. I've got a job in that cafe at, what time did he say, 10 o'clock? I'm gonna be looking rough as toast. I need to look fresh for that. Before I go, I just wanna thank Squarespace again. If you don't know anything about Squarespace, Squarespace is a great all-in-one platform where you can use its award-winning design templates to create your own website, blog, or even an online store. It's a great way to start a side business and it's really easy to use. It also offers domains if you haven't got one, like I've got skintstuff.com for my online store. So go check out the Squarespace link in description and it should also be on the screen for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Right, the plan now, I'm gonna call it a night there. To be honest, I don't feel as safe in Milan as I did Italy. There's a lot of like, I don't know, it's just not got the same vibe as Berlin. I'm not saying I don't like it, but I just don't feel as safe at night. So I'm gonna put the camera in my bag. I'll fill you in on how I get on in the next vlog tomorrow. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the support. It really, really means a lot. Wish me luck tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes,